I had a bit of an issue yesterday with my terabyte firewire drive and it caused me to panic and so I think possibly with data um, panic is probably quite a good thing to do. Um, to show you uh, very briefly what my setup actually is, this drive here is the Time Machine Backups drive. Now that backs up automatically from a utility that um, Apple include with Leopard and Snow Leopard. Um, and it backs up the Mac's own hard drive here. And it does it at hourly intervals. Um, I've also got here what I call the terabyte dump. And basically that is where um, I just store things that I don't actually wanna throw away, but I've got no immediate use for. It also includes my iTunes library and my iPhoto library, if you will. Uh, iTunes and iPhoto should be in there somewhere. Um, there it is. Uh, and I thought that this drive here had uh, packed up yesterday. Uh, turns out that it hadn't, but um, in any case, I thought, well, I need a better backup solution because if your external drive back, backs, packs up, even though you're backing up with Time Machine anyway, you're not backing up anything that's on the external drive. So I've got here, this is a 1.5 gigabyte um, iOmega hard drive. It needs to be formatted for um, the Mac first. So uh, if you excuse me just while I do that, um, and I will show you what it does. So, you need first of all then to go to the disk utility. Um, so if I type in disk utility. So here's disk utility open. All right, this is the one that needs to be formatted. So it says, click on the drive icon for the Omega hard drive. Make sure you click on the orange drive icon not the volume icon. Okay. Um, then it says select the partition tab. You pig dog partition. There we go. Um, so I've got the partition tab there. So let's Mac OS extended journaled. From the format drop down menu. Now why won't that let me select it? One partition. Mac OS extended journaled. Click on the options button. Select the type of partition needed for your Mac. That's for an Intel. And then click apply. You click partition. And this is now formatting that disk ready to be used for the Mac. And it's gonna call it Untitled One, but it's very easy to rename these disks so that you know exactly what they are. Partition complete, that's done. I click on that. Okay, it says the drive is ready to use. Now down here, I've got some software called Personal Backup X5. And this is hopefully gonna make it a bit easier for me to, um, to use.
And now we're brought up with the, um, with the screen. So now we basically just want to back up. Once we've backed up, then hopefully the synchronization option will enable me to do things like if I upload an album into my iTunes library, for, for instance, then I want to back up that album in my um, new backup iTunes library that hopefully it'll let me do that without too much aggro. So here we go. This is the one I want to back up. Drag it in here. This is the one that I want to um, be the destination. So um, let's call this, so let's hit enter on here. The uh, Mac way of renaming files is just to select the file and hit enter and then just start typing. So I'll call this terabyte dump back up. Okay, drag that there. And then, with any luck, it will just back that up for me. If I hit back up, and away we go. And that should be backing up. Now I'd imagine that that is gonna take some time to do that but there we go this is using um, personal backup x5 software uh, to make an extra safe keeping backup hard drive just in case the worst does happen do it people it's good for you